Hey friends! Oh my goodness. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be giving you a little tour of what's been going on in Hazycraft. I only recorded episode 1 and I have a little bit of footage of me making my house. But I thought the start is kind of boring. And also, I just wanted to explain. So the last week, I have had a really bad sickness. I will be covering most of the bases today and the center of the area. Okay, guys. So as you can see, um, I am on a hill right now, or a mountain. And I am looking over into what's going on in Hazycraft. There's a lot going on. It's uh, faded over there. You can't see anything that's going on over there. But we've got some things happening over here. So we're going to go over everything that's happening. So obviously we spawn with a mansion right here in our little mountain bowl. That's our spawn area. If you remember in the first episode, that's where we sat at for like at the lava circle before we all started. And as you can see, there is a huge difference with the layout. So we're gonna start over here with several foxes house. His house is actually really cute and uh, Star actually did the roof. Oh my goodness, it's raining. Guys, I'm gonna sleep in Fox's bed and hope for the best. As you can see, there's also a pillager outpost here. So yeah, there's a lot of raids that go on. Uh, I blame Pip for that. Anyways, here's Fox's house. The roof was done by Star and I actually think it looks really cute. He's got this intricate floor design and in my texture pack, his beds are little jack-o'-lanterns and I think that's so cute. I don't know what this is, but I do not want to snoop. So <laughs> it's got a chest, got some furnaces and there's really not much going on in here, but it's actually really cute. And I like the cabin vibe. All right, we're gonna move on to down here. Since I was up on the mountain, you couldn't really see, and it's also kind of foggy. All right, we're gonna start over here on the very right of the bowl, um, where we start at the mansion. So the mansion, actually, I have claimed along with Pip and Star, and we're gonna make it to this really cute place. So here's our mansion. We haven't really done anything with it. We did not get to loot it. Um, as you can see in the first episode, other people looted the mansion. It's super cute in here and I'm excited to make it cute with uh, Pip and Star. Honestly, okay, so we have a little clubhouse. Uh, me, Pip, and Star were the cool girls. And our little clubhouse is kind of small and I'm thinking maybe we can make this our clubhouse. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many ideas just being in here. Uh, but yeah, this is the mansion. There's really not much going on in here, so I'm not really gonna show you the whole thing. But it's definitely super cute, and we're definitely gonna be doing something with it soon. Next course of action we're gonna take, we're gonna come over to Pip's house, which is also super duper 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 cute. Um, I don't know why there's this random chest of wood. Um, <laughs> so this is Pip's house and she took a very long time building it, but I actually think it looks really nice. Um, and she was going for an amethyst style, which Star also kind of went for an amethyst style and I really like that. Um, she got some furnaces, a stone cutter, a bed, some barrels, so she got some chests up here. And my favorite part of her build is up here. You can look over and see the whole server. Um, and now the render distance. Now it's, you can actually kind of see it over here, um, but you can't see that side, unfortunately. So I was gonna do something like this, like a little astronomy tower, but I really didn't want to copy. And I think that that's actually, um, I actually think that the way my base turned out uh, was pretty good. Speaking of, so it actually took me a bit to build my base because I told you guys I was off for a little while and um, I was sick, so I couldn't really build my base. And so I didn't really have a base until I actually built it. And I'll show you guys in a second. Um, I guess this is a goat milking station. Uh, I, okay, cool. I think the goats are absolutely adorable. Okay, so if we walk a little bit over here, you can see these beautiful statues. I'm not sure who actually built those. There's so much glass. Oh my goodness, dude. Okay, this is Star's base, which is my personal favorite. Oh, Star is here right now. I don't really know what's going on in that chest, but um, yeah, I don't really wanna invade 
got a little, I love this. This this one is my favorite bait. I think you made a really good bait. Are you talking? Oh, okay. I was just, yeah. You're I was, good. I was, I was editing something for Noel. Hi. I got it. I'll be, yeah, I'll be right back. I was giving them a little tour of your bait. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. G go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, yeah. So, we've got some cool stuff going on here. And we've got a loom. You have a loom. So many furnaces. It's crazy. And Pip's head. That's great. All right, before I actually make my way over there, I'm actually going to save my base for last. So my base is right next to Stars, but I'm kind of just gonna look away from it. Guys, oh my gosh! I always have a baby zombie curse, I told you. I'm getting better, trust. Gosh, okay, so anyways, that's what I'm saying. After I was rudely interrupted, um, this is Star, well, actually, no, I think it's Pip's, yeah, Pip's, uh, Amethyst Shop, and we've got prices, it's 32 Amethyst Block for 5 Iron, or a stack of Amethyst for 2 Diamonds, which I think is a pretty good deal. All the mobs want to chase me right now, since it's nighttime and raining. I'm gonna sleep, actually. Uh, I think this is Elvin's base. Okay, so this is Elvin's base, and I actually think it's super cute. Um, I didn't really look at it much. This is the first time I've really been in her base. I really like, I actually really like the stone brick. Um, that's one of my favorite blocks to build with. Um, if you didn't know. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! We are getting absolutely, wait, I got a bow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I... Every time I kill a skeleton, I look for a skeleton head because I want little skulls and you'll see why, you'll see why. I won't explain it yet. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, got some goats over here. I'm not sure whose base this is, but it's actually really cute. I don't think I've been in it before. I'm not sure. They've got an axolotl, got a banner, ominous banner. Okay, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think, I'm not sure whose base that is, but it's really cute got the little farm over here which also uh star has their little farm all right so if we make our way over here i'm not really sure what's going on here there is a random dog here um hello little doggy and then okay so we're gonna go see okay i know this is uh salt space or ethan salt whatever that up there is noel's base this is salt space um okay so this is ethan's little science lab He's got a to-do list, which I really like. Okay, so Noel's base is up here. We've got his enchantment shop, which is enchantment usage is five iron, and then 16 lapis equals one diamond. So if you want 16 lapis, I guess you pay one diamond to use the enchantment table, um, which is pretty cool. All right, moving on to Noel's base instead of his shop. That's cute. Um, we've got a banner in the front. We've got tons and tons of Noel heads. Got a bunch of birch logs. We got iron leggings with mending and protection four. Interesting. Got lots of things. I'm not really sure what the purpose of this is, but um, we've got a big board with all of our heads on it. So if you were interested in that, there you go. Somebody's building something right there. I'm not really sure. We have our little ruined uh, nether portal up here which we will be going in the nether very, very soon. I'll probably be going to the nether today, but you guys probably won't see me go to the nether in this episode, if that makes sense. If you go past that mountain, that's where I get all my dark oak and I find all my, my squids um, for certain things that I'm going to explain. We've got a cute little shop here. I'm not really sure what is gonna be sold here or is what's what is and then this is our like village that we spawn with there's like 20 million crafting tables i'm not really sure what what was going on uh i don't know there is a work in progress shop over here this one is actually mine and i'm actually thinking of building it in a completely different block now uh, I was building this last night, but this is going to be my little uh, wool shops. I'm going to be selling um, wool and banners and looms and carpet, shears, anything wool related that you can think of, it'll be sold. And I won't sell dyes here, but I will be selling dyes at my, uh, my flower shop. So that's gonna be fun. I, I believe this was someone's base at some point, but I'm not sure whose it was. Um, they made a nice, oh, there's a zombie villager in there. 
Oh, this is Jonas's. Okay, cool. I, I'm not, I think, I, is this a stage? Yeah, I, all right. Now looking back in the center, we see some of these stone buildings. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Um, all I do know is that it's something. Uh, this is the bean factory close for construction. Okay, this is where our little lava pool was, if you remember in the first episode. Um, I guess don't ask why there's tons of holes all over the map. They're not creeper holes because creeper holes don't exist. The creepers do not blow up. Alright guys, so the last thing you've been waiting for. I probably have not covered everything in the video, but this gorgeous, amazing, beautiful build over here is my house. This is my house, so welcome to my house. I wanted to do like a little goth vibe. I think that that's really my favorite type of style. Um, ignore the little graves over here. This is like the side of it. It's got like crosses and it's not to me, not to be offensive or anything. It's just to fit the goth vibe. I think it's actually really cute. So this is the front of my house. I, I've got a couple of stars heads in my welcome part. Um, and if you come up here, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna make this. Oh, okay, well, people have put banners and an amethyst block. All right, so if we go over here, this is the best part of the base. Um, we're gonna go down there last, so just don't worry about that part. We've got a little fireplace. No, this is not meant to be a ritual. Everybody has asked me if this is a ritual. I am not doing any rituals. This is just a fireplace and it was just supposed to be cute. Um, if we go up here, you will see a uh, star's head and also um, Jonas's attic and also my attic, which uh, speaks for itself. Uh, I didn't do any of that. So you're gonna have to go watch everybody else's video to go see who did that. Anyways, I've got Jonas's head all over my kitchen. I've got a little axolotl and normally there's furnaces right here, but um, I don't remember why they're taken out. Got a little pantry over here. I'm not really sure if I wanna keep it like that. I'm thinking of placing like doors right here and then like, I don't know, but I feel like it looks a little too like cluttered and tiny I, I don't like it it's also a really good hiding spot i put a mushroom over here because i just thought it was cute and then there was a painting over here but um a lot of my things were stolen by uh, a certain someone that uh, lives in my attic this is my little closet um i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do with that they also stole my ladder this is my bed uh don't ask why there's not a right bed um yeah uh, I didn't have enough wool. I have enough wool now. I just don't have the dye for it. So I'll make it soon. Got some chests in here. This is mainly just to kind of put random stuff that I'm not really using in. Oh, there, there's the furnaces that I was missing. But yeah, and then I got my little desk. Uh, another missing thing is my fern, which, um, can you guess? Can you guess what happened? All right, so if you come down here, the best part, I've got my little wheat and potato farm. So this is really... The potatoes are just for food and the wheat are to breed the sheep um, and also to make bread. I'm going to have a bread shop soon, but don't get it confused with the food shop. I, I don't remember who's making the food shop, but just don't get it confused because I'm only going to be selling bread. And this is my storage room and it says you can borrow things as long as they return or repay. So I mainly put this chest right here either to just throw away like trash or whatever or for people who want to repay me. So whoever steals something from like a chest or whatever, like let's say they took a diamond, they needed a diamond and they got me another diamond to replace it. So they put it in this chest. And then now when I come in here, I can see that they've replaced it and I can put it with my other diamond. But yeah, and then I will be organizing this space soon. It's got a lot of stuff. Usually, I don't throw away a lot of things when I play Minecraft, so. Got a little crafting table right here. Obviously gotta have a crafting table everywhere. The basement is definitely a work in progress. I made this last night. Um, it's really just supposed to be my storage area and my farm area, but you know, I'm probably going to be expanding it in future episodes, making it look cooler. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. And then if you were wondering what this ladder is, you can't, can't go up this. He put an 
iron trap door. But yeah, so there is my base, you guys. That is the whole tour. Actually, no, that is not the whole. This is my sheepies. Um, now, it's a work in progress. There's clearly not very many over here, but once I breed a bunch, there will be, it will be overflowing. Um, and then it will be really easy for me to get wool for my wool shop. So I'm super excited. I've got purple, blue, yellow, red. I've got two gray sheep. I've got white two white sheep, three gray sheep. Oh my goodness, I have so much gray. But yeah, we're building up our wool collection. It's looking great. I don't know who put a pig there, but. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for the tour of Hazy Craft. Now, do not worry because the next episode will be coming very shortly after this one, since this one is a shorter episode, just to kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on. I apologize if the episodes are not very long. I I try to cut out the boring bits of me building and mining and all that stuff. So hopefully next time in the next episode, you guys will have a fun time. I'm going to be going to the Nether with Star at some point. So that's exciting. And I'm going to be um, making my shops and we're going to be planning stuff out together. I'm going to explain all my shops to you guys, my prices and everything. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them below in the comments. And also go watch everybody else else's i will link everybody's youtube channel down below in the description if i do not do that then they should be on my feature channels in my page if you click on my page era moon baby you can scroll down all the way and you'll see some feature channels and you'll see all my friends who play hazy craft thank you guys so much for watching this video and i hope you guys enjoyed bye friends